Hello, welcome back to Satisfactory Update 6. This is Maker Gaming, uh, episode 26. Last episode, uh, we built the road. Got some factory carts running uh, rotors for us. And, uh, yeah, here we go. In between episodes, I did come back and I cleaned up all the railings, so... The rails, the walls are all the way complete, all the way down the road. And for this episode, I think what I want to try and do is get oil going in the Spire Coast. Um, I want to start making uh, plastic and rubber. And so that's going to be the first thing we set up. Actually, before we go, I need to make sure I have the right materials. So let me do that. All right. So what are all we going to need? Oh, actually, we got to unlock the milestone first. All right. Let's get over there. Okay, we're here. Oil processing. That's the one we're getting for sure. Gives us our oil, our oil extractor. Um, fuel, petroleum coke, crude oil. All good things. Um, and then we can also make uh, plastic and rubber. Alright, I think that's enough of everything else. Let's go pick up the materials we need to finish the milestone. Um, I need the camera to change. There we go. And here we go. So, if I get in the, get out of the cart and then get back in, it doesn't do the noise. Perfect. All right, we're here at the uh, transportation hub. Uh, temporarily here, we're gonna, where does that need to go? Oh, it's a little different because we're not on the, uh, it's not a right angle there. So let's get that on here. Alright, just picked a random spot for now. Drop it in. Need to reverse it. Alright, and we need to get it over here to the waterfall. So we'll put it right here. Almost done. All right, and those should be around eventually. Surprise, they're not yet. Let's see what the problem is. Nope, just faster. What a bird. All right, so now we got the rotors to the waterfall. We need to get them closer to the stators. That way we can have somewhere to build motors. Okay, 
Need the bottom layer over here. Exactly where I think I want to do something like this. Hopefully, I don't get blasted from behind. That's not a good design. Oh, you can fall through it there. That's great. Maybe I want to go all the way down. And go underneath. Let's see how that looks. Looks all right, but we need to go out farther so that we are going past the hyper tube. And that should be fine. All right, we're going to make a little motor build. different angle from everything we have so far. Just to mix it up. All right, we're going in. Bring that down here for the stators. I don't know if I need that. We we'll probably just go directly. As long as it looks okay. Looks okay. need it over there. Call it Call it about that. We we'll want to bring it in from there if we can. And let's go see if we can. Change that to a wall. For now we just want to get the circuit complete and get the assembler going and have motors. That's all a little bit too close. We're fine for now, buddy. All right, merging these in. Beautiful. Power these up. And we have our motor factory. Gorgeous. It's going on the cover. 
the thumbnail. Just figure this out. There we go. Perfect. Let's just get some motors going. Get this going faster. Now let's go look at, I don't know, something else. Need to close up that. Oh, we'll need steel pipes. While I wait for those motors to make. Now we wait for motors. We got them sped up. We'll leave that guy alone still. We think on how to clean that up. We gotta go to Spire Coast, check on oil. Alright. I don't wanna leave that like that. I wanna clean it up some. But also, I want motors. Almost there. Alright, so that'll be done in no time with those both running in. I'm going to make this a little nicer. 25 a minute, 50 a minute, we're probably never going to have that. 20 minutes not impossible though. And that would be uh, without the power shards in either machine. So we'll work towards that. Give me a minute. Alright, we now have enough uh, motors for the milestones, so let me just fix this up real quick. I'm just doing a sandwich layer down here. We'll bring in the parts. We'll have two assemblers up top uh, with proper belting so it doesn't look crazy like this. And uh, then we'll go back and feed the motors into the milestone. This looks alright. Let's see if we can make this work. Need motors. Oh, I like that blue color. Let's save that. Okay, I like that blue. Maybe we'll go with that for this build.
that tight. All right, a lot more organized in here now. wonder if I can put the inverted walls in front of that, or even these walls. Uh, that's fine. We'll do that. Just a little something different. Looks all right, I guess. Let's go get copper sheets so we can make this all the way. Looks all right. Looks kind of like a barn. Put all these in. All right, now we just line everything up. This is our storage. One more back. Sorry about the noise. Maybe I should just kill him. Eh. Alright, so these are the two outputs that go into the storage. This is one of the inputs. It splits there. Um, 
This one won't, won't be as good looking. Probably something like this. That's not fine. I'm fine with that. Looks pretty good. All right, so we're organized in here. We just need to belt it up on the outside. We're good. We just need power. Uh, I do want to put up a couple lights, and so we are organized in here. So yeah, that's set up. We just have to set the motors. I really liked that background color when I made this sign, so I made that a base color. One of my template colors, but it, it almost looks black from the outside. I painted this whole building that color. And I mean, there's not much difference from black. There's the two. Oh, I never connected it. That'll do it too. Now we're good. All right. I also just want to go. I want to get some lights for in here. I haven't. I haven't done anything with lights, so I am out of copper sheets, of course. So I need to go get those. You know, while I'm over there, I'll also unlock the milestone. Um, we'll come back and set up that light there on the way to. Uh, the main reason for this episode, which is finding oil, getting our first plastic and rubber. Um, just having access to that plastic and rubber gets us uh, a lot further down the game. That's the next. Uh, that's the next big thing to make, right? It's going to start helping us produce the more complicated parts, the electronic parts. Um, it's a big. It's a big milestone, just like uh, aluminum. Aluminum is later on in the next set of tiers. You know, I also need to I need to set up the reset up the hyper tube. I want it to go along with this, but I don't want it too close. Um I w but I want it to be some sort of even spacing. So um there's still to do on that. Oh, I turned around a little. Slowed her down. Man, road's done. I also ran the uh, the power correctly, so that's all in uh, wall outlets on one one side of the wall, right here. So that's cleaned up too. We don't have any uh, random power lines out, except this one, obviously. I don't. Oh yeah, that one's for powering our hyper tubes. 
Okay, we have what we need. We have our motors, our steel pipes, and our last few copper. Feed the machine. Our first tier five products. Milestone reached. Oil acquisition and refining unlocked. Oil based products can now be made. The byproducts of oil refinement can be used after further processing as seen in the refinery. Caution. This is a reminder to minimize the chance of expiration during out of base activities. What was that last thing? I'm going to have to rewatch that in the editing booth. Alright. They're unlocked. We need to add some of those to the R&D floor. We need to see what we need to build each one so that we can uh, make sure we have enough before we run out. Let's say... Oh, I think we could do... F I think we could maybe do four refineries for one oil extractor, but... Let's just go with two for now. Uh, none of this is too expensive now that we have motors automated and encased beams. They actually aren't automated, if I recall. I think we still have uh, to run concrete in there. I could be wrong. Valves are new. We do need the rubber, though, to produce it. All right, that's it for now. So we have enough for a refinery and oil extractor. Um, and just base resources, concrete, steel plates, all that. Way more rotors than we need. Is there anything we want to keep track of? For next, I think next we want this, right? For the manufacturer. Uh, we need rubber and plastic, though. And then this would be our other next one, which is our fuel generator. Um, and yeah, to get a fuel generator, we need computers. Computers, uh, we also need this milestone. So this is for sure the next milestone. Uh, we don't have to click it. Yeah, I'm not going to click it. Leave it up there on the side of the wall. Um, screen. I just remember. Alright, I think I have extra concrete um, in the basement of the steel factory and everything else I think we have, so back over. Alright, we're back. Uh, with materials. Let's just put a power line there. Right there. Oh, that was a little bigger than I was remembering. You can tilt it. Scroll wheel. I want it angled, but we want it inside the building. Say there. Why didn't that turn on? Do I need a lighting controller for it? Oh no, I don't need anything. It's on. Ooh, pretend you didn't see that. I don't want to fix it right now. Match it up. Uh, 
How weird. Well, now we're lit. Yeah, so this was not intentional, but... I mean... Give me a second. Alright, so that th that's what we were all thinking, right? I mean, it was... Ridiculously, obviously, looked like a damn barn you see in a cartoon. So, we'll just go with it. Paint it red. Put on some white beams to give it that look. And uh, we'll stick with it for now. On to oil. See you later, motor barn. Ridiculous. Not bad. Oh, the barn. We need a floor type for this. Shit, now it looks like a rocket ship. Blast off. Looked better on the other side. Um, I guess we're going to go concrete. At least that blends in a little bit better. I'll leave it on that sign. All right, we're we're producing. This is it. While we're here working in this little area, that barn that fits in with nothing. Uh, let me know what you think about the barn. I can uh, go back to the original blue colors. Uh, dark blue. Looks almost black. We'll blend in more with the other areas. Or I can leave it that bright red uh, barn color. That's not where I meant to jump. I just wanted to clean this up real quick. I'm going to just have a platform here to get in that way not so messy we can start working on making it a little less messy over here now that we're gonna be in the canyon a lot um, we want it to look we want it to look good
Yeah, from the outside, I like that. I mean, I'm looking at the top. Uh, we need to put some support so it makes sense. I know it's on this uh, rock, but we need to put a couple more so it looks like it's being supported and finish that bottom one and add a white stripe at the bottom line. make that even we could just count count over from the side one two three four so after four we have uh, two so one two three four that's our first one that's our second one Out of concrete. Yeah, I think that looks like it could exist. So yeah, we need to get that hyper tube moved out of there. It doesn't make sense anymore. We need to get more of those uh, waterfall conveyor holes going. All right, so I'm just building this up a little. I, d I decided, uh, looking at the edit so far, that um, we're not going to make it to oil this episode. It's just, uh, in the last episode I talked about it, I, I want to make these videos shorter. I'm a couple days behind on my schedule because I had a crazy week at work. So going to end this one here before we get to the oil. Uh, we'll just call the uh, the motor barn. Uh, that's what this level was about. Or that's what this episode was about. And then that leaves first thing next episode to get to the Spire Coast, get some oil. Yeah, thanks for watching. Um, let me know which barn you prefer. The, uh, the regular... The regular one we started with or the bright red one at the end. Um, i go either way. I'll go with whatever the comments say. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.